Welcome back to the Prison Architect tutorial series here on the channel. I'm your host, longtime listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and comment below. Uh, in this episode, we are going to go over the security room. Now, there is a lot going on in here, so it's, it might be a little bit of a short episode, I guess you could call it, but um, this is an important room, so I wanted to kind of have one episode dedicated exclusively to it. Now, starting with the requirements, it's got to be at least 4x4. Four four. It has to have an office desk, a filing cabinet, and a chair. So I usually go with an office chair because I just think it looks nice, kind of centered with the office desk. I don't really know what the purpose is for either of those because I never really see anybody use them, but whatever. Now, the other things that you'll eventually place in there typically are going to be the CCTV monitor, phone taps, and door control system can also put door timers in here um, but they don't door timers don't have to go in the security room as far as I know now contraband co can come from this area however typically you're gonna have it marked as staff only or at most access only where we'll get into why you might want to have it access only a little later on um, the tips that I saw online said designated as staff only, but I, I'll go ahead and cover this at least for as for why I leave it as access only. CIs will report to the security room to give you the intelligence that they have uncovered. So I don't know if that works if you've got the room designated as staff only. So, uh, but anyway, the contraband that can come out of here are jail keys, a baton, cigarettes, and a lighter. Now, hypothetically, they could also steal things like weapons from an armed guard if they are hanging out in there. Um, but a CI is coming in there to basically report on what they knew. It's not very likely that there's going to be contraband coming out of here. Now, as far as what these are used for, CCTV monitors realistically are only kind of super necessary if you have fog of war on where you need the cameras so that you can see what's going on in the prison. Um, if you install them in a playthrough where you do not have Fog of War on, I think they still might help with um, kind of keeping inmates a little bit suppressed because they are like on camera or whatever. But I didn't read anything about that in the game mechanics. So either way, I just think they look cool. Door control is something where if you use servos on doors the doors can be opened remotely by way of somebody just sitting at this workstation um, so it is a good idea to use that for certain types of rooms especially if it's a room where like you just want it to be easier to get that door open instead of having to have a guard go open it every single time uh, but then also for rooms that you absolutely don't want anybody getting into unless they have a key, you can put a remote door in that spot and have a servo attached, attach it to the door control system. Now, the downside is that, like, if a guard needs to get in there and for whatever reason there's nobody sitting here at the door control system to let them in, they're going to be stuck waiting. But there is still a serious benefit to having remote doors in certain places. Um, and we'll get into why that is. Also worth noting that the, the remote control door system can work on regular jail doors, for example, not just remote doors. Um, phone taps are going to be key for gathering intelligence from um, you know phone calls that your inmates might be making to relatives in terms of uh, info about contraband or escape plans, etc. Now note, uh, that with all of these items, they can connect to, like, multiple devices. Uh, but, like, for example, with the phone tap, only one connected connection can be active at one time. So even though I've got this phone tap attached to three different phones, if somebody is there, if somebody is there listening in on the phone tap and there are three people on calls, I can only be listening to one of those at a time. Um, and then again, it's it's worth noting that CIs will report here to provide the information that they gather from um, 
you know, being a snitch essentially. Uh, so, uh, keep that in mind. Now, finally, it, along those lines, I will point out that in order to recruit a confidential informant, you'll need to go to intelligence, informants, and then yellow means basically they either are a confidential informant or they are a potential confidential informant and it will say potential ci the way that you recruit them is you they've got to be in solitary but if they are in solitary you can click on them you go to experience and there will be a button right here that says recruit as confidential informant or something along those lines so that's how that works all right now some final little tips as far as mechanics here are that um, it helps to have the security relatively close to a staff room because guards will get tired. They will get up from their post and go to the staff room. So if they've got a long walk, it's just going to take them a little bit longer to get back there. And you don't necessarily want that. Um, and then also it's not a terrible idea to have it somewhere in the general vicinity of cell blocks as well, because, um, guards can help with response to problems as soon as they're discovered and usually there are guards hanging out in the security room so like for example if they don't have a patrol or somewhere that they are supposed to be stationed but they don't need rest they'll just hang out here so if the, here in the security room is close to so, somewhere that they're, they're likely to uh, need to report to try and address a riot or whatever that proximity can help and then finally, um, you absolutely positively want to have remote doors on the security room uh, because it is a likely target for inmates during the course of a riot. So that is it for this one. I hope that this has been helpful. Please be sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, comment below, and we will see y'all next time.